Matt Mowers is prepping another run for New Hampshire's first congressional district seat. Sources close to the 2020 Republican nominee telling News 9 he'll be launching a new campaign in September. At age 32, Mowers would once again be a youthful candidate. But by the standards of the GOP primary field he's expected to join, he's pretty old. Already in the Republican race in the 1st District are Caroline Levitt, 23. State Rep Tim Baxter is 23 as well. Gilead Town is 31. And Julian Asiard is currently the elder statesman at 33. More diversity is really hitting Congress. We're seeing more women, younger people, people of color. And so it's not the good old boy network, if you will, anymore. Neil Levesque at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics believes technology is driving this youth movement. The increased use of social media is a vehicle that, that younger people are able to capitalize on and communicate with party leaders, voters, donors nationwide. And so the people who are good at those communication skills, like Twitter, are people that are able to be good candidates. Young candidates have won before in New Hampshire. The incumbent, Representative Chris Pappas, launched his first campaign for Congress at age 37. Judd Gregg was just 33 when Granite State voters sent him to Capitol Hill in 1980. And John E. Sununu was also 33 when he was first elected to Congress. All three of those big names either worked their way up the ladder or came from established political families. This new crop of young candidates has a different pedigree. But the common denominator uh, among them is just a desire to throw out the so-called traditional rules of politics and do where their heart and their minds tell them uh, that they, they should go. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.